In today's video, I'm gonna talk about rapid body fat regain and why it gets stored in weird places. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com coming to you on a Tuesday afternoon from Tampa, Florida. The video, it's going on two something o'clock. You're gonna be out a little later than I would have wanted it to. I like to get these videos out earlier, but my day has been busy. Busy's good. Um, just set me back a little bit. So let's get this video going and we'll, uh, we'll get it out shortly. So today's topic is brought to you by a client of mine named Sarah Deepa. Thank you, Sarah, for the great question. Sarah's question was, after a contest, after we diet, or after a long period of fat loss, if we gain body fat quickly, why can it be stored in areas where it wasn't stored before? Why is it stored preferentially in certain areas? And for most of us, that's going to be lower abdomen, glutes, thighs, things like that, instead of being spread out as it might have been initially when we started the fat loss phase. So I'm gonna explain that a little bit better. First of all, what do you guys think of my tank top? Huh, Pro Physique Apparel? Got a little logo on the back, what do you think? Not bad, leave no doubt. Love my branding. All right, so Sarah's question comes to us because she herself has just gotten out of a long contest prep diet and I think she is asking why when we diet for a long period of time and then put on body fat in a short amount of time, it doesn't return the way it came off. Meaning, if you have body fat stored evenly over your body, if you gain body fat quickly, it doesn't get replaced evenly. It, tell, it tends to prioritize itself in a certain area of the body. All right guys, change of location. My son has a friend over and they're playing and it's really loud in the house and it was hard to concentrate. So, that's why the change of scenery. We are now in my garage gym. It's a little warm out here, so if you see me breaking a sweat, that's why. Now anyone who's been in a dieting phase for a long period of time, we're talking months of being in a caloric deficit, you notice the body begins to do some changes, begins to change a little bit, and you begin to get some low energy, you begin to get some cravings, you begin to notice sex drive is lower. All these things are adaptations that happen to your body while it's in a fat loss phase to ensure survival. So your body's not interested in you being a physique athlete. Your body is interested in the long-term prospect of you living for a long time. And if we think about evolution and how it's happened over millions of years, those who were able to adapt to the conditions were able to survive longer. So it makes sense that the human metabolism is able to slow down, become more efficient at extracting calories, and enable us to survive for longer periods of time. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, for us as physique athletes, when we place ourselves in a position where we're basically in starvation mode, we're in a caloric deficit, we're expending high amounts of energy every single day, our body goes into defense mode, right? And there are hacks that we use during contest prep to keep fat loss going, right? We're able to get fat loss lower and lower and lower throughout the process. However, the body is ramping up the ability to store body fat very quickly. Do you ever notice how during contest prep, once you reach a certain amount of body fat, no matter how much you eat, you're hungry. You can eat a huge meal and within minutes, you're gonna be hungry yet again. This is the body's defense mechanism, trying to get you to put body fat back on quickly to get you to a place where it feels it's happy and it's going to survive. So for many of us who have done a show, including myself, and gone out and binge eat after the show, just stuffed our face with all the things we were craving, and we thought, that's good, that'll be it. Well, to our surprise, in a short time later, we are starving again like we never ate. This is a problem if you are concerned about body fat regain happening quickly. There's a lot of research now. It has shown that you can actually put on new body fat cells. And those new fat cells that are created must get to the same amount of size that your old fat cells had to be at to be content. This means even if we get to our previous 
body fat percentage that we were at when we weren't hungry, we might actually have to put on more body fat to feel satiated and feel in a happy place. This again is your body's way of defending itself for long term survival. So why is body fat not spread evenly when we have these large eating sessions but we don't have uh, an evening out of the body fat? Well, that mechanism, it's not completely clear. But as a male who's done this, and I have noticed that when I gain body fat quickly, my limbs stay relatively lean. My extremities stay relatively lean. And where I tend to put on the body fat quickly was in my lower abdomen region. Now for men, this is a problem area. I also believe that this is highly related to the fact that when you're digesting calories and we're taking them in so quickly, the body is in such desperate mode to store them, it stores them in the closest place possible, right here in the lower abdomen. Now I could be wrong on this, but I've seen it happen over and over again with competitors. And once you've stored that body fat there, you do not get it off. You don't get it off in that same contest prep. If you binge during a contest prep and store some body fat, that fat is even more stubborn than it was before. And with your depressed metabolism and your increased cardio, it's going to be nearly impossible to get to that same level of leanness that you might have been only a day before. Now, if you're in a post-competition phase, this is not a big deal, right? Because you've got a year, two years to spend restoring your metabolism and letting body fat kind of even out. Now, for women who've experienced this, I usually notice that it happens in the glutes and the, the, the thighs. Uh, that is where women preferentially store body fat. For men, it's going to be lower abdomen and lower body fat. So why does it happen? It happens because your body is desperate to store body fat. And yes, you can store literally pounds of body fat in a single meal if you overeat, especially at the end of contest prep, because this is when your body is determined to get back to its happy body fat set point by any means necessary. So. Thank you, Sarah, for the wonderful question. Sorry, guys, that I had to change scenery and come out here into my gym. Hopefully, the echo is not too bad. I'm working on, uh, you know, making these video logs better. And so, in the future, I may even have a setup in here specifically for my video logs. I plan to be cooling uh, the gym. And if you guys are interested in a home gym tour or what my costs were for putting it together, that, that would be a good video for me to do. Uh, I'm still working on it. I'm still getting it. But as you can see, I've got the walls painted black. I've got the flooring. Uh, in and I've got some really cool equipment in here and I purchased some new stuff recently so I'm really excited about that uh, anyway guys it's Tuesday I hope you guys have an awesome Tuesday afternoon and uh, let's keep the questions rolling in the comments in the sections below I really appreciate all the feedback hit the subscribe button if you like the content hit the like button if you like everything and uh, let's have a great rest of the week, guys. And uh, we'll see what question I come up with tomorrow to answer. Thank you.